This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Siobhan here back with another desk setup upgrade video and I think this is episode 10. So this one's super special. So today guys, we have a couple like things I really need to fix in my setup. For example, the way how my monitor is set up right now, I hate how the camera looks whenever I'm streaming. So I decided I needed to go for a stock orientation. Also, we got a new keyboard in that I really wanted to try out. And also this chair has been giving me a pain. So this is the Mavix chair. Love this chair to death. I've been using it for uh, probably like a year now, but I'm not sure if you guys can hear over the mic, but it's like really rattling. I lent my cousin for like a month or two. I got it back and then it's just squeaking. I tried to fix it, screw it up, it's not working. So I got like a replacement for now and it's the steel case gesture and it's really solid. It already came fixed up, but I couldn't fit it inside this room. But yeah, we also have some couple products here, like a new desk mat from Desk Hero and also the newly announced Keychron Q1, Keychron Q1 keyboard with the knob. So these are probably, you probably see tons of videos on these already like on your timeline. My video probably goes up like two days later or something. Enough of the talking guys, let's get to the desk setup. Let's go. Oh yeah, also guys, I have no idea why I'm doing all this right now because in a couple of weeks, I will be moving into my new condo. But I just wanted you guys to know that, yes, I know I will be doing the day in the life of the iPhone 13 plus I like condo hunting vlogs. So it's two of your favorite videos into one. You guys are gonna be really like excited about that one. It's gonna be lit. But yeah, what was, yeah, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we need to remove this monitor. I said, I think I've said this like 10 times. Let's go, Siobhan. Too much talking. So after about 10 minutes or so, I finally finished setting up the Vivo monitor arm. But personally, I would avoid this Vivo monitor arm, guys. It's super wobbly. And as I was recording this, my audio wasn't working, so I'm here with the voiceover. I was saying that I thought it would, like, tumble over by the end of the night, but it didn't. Hopefully, it stays like that forever. But the one thing I have with it is just it keeps swinging, so the monitor can't stay still. So I ordered this other one from Shopping All. It looks like it's, like, aluminum. It looks way more sturdy or metal or something like that. But on the bright side, we now have stacked monitors. Last thing that we need to do is just add our keyboard to the setup. But quickly, let's take a word from today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys don't know about Squarespace, Squarespace is one of the best website builders. They make it very simple to build your own website, whether it's something as simple as an about you page, your very own portfolio, down to selling app icons, wallpapers, or even merchandise. There's a template for everyone. I'm personally going to use Squarespace in the coming weeks to upload my free wallpaper packs. Yes, I'll be dropping some free wallpaper packs for you guys. And I just love how easy it is to just choose a theme and tweak it to match your style. Also, the fact that I don't need to learn coding just makes it 10 times easier. So if you guys are interested, just head over to squarespace.com right now for a free trial. And whenever you guys are ready to launch that actual website, just go to squarespace.com backslash Siobhan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. All links will be down below in the description. And thanks again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get, get back to building. Here we go, the 
brand new setup. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This chair right here, the steel case gesture, one of my favorite chairs. It goes for like a thousand dollars, but definitely worth it. Like just the comfort. The first couple of days you use this chair, it might feel kind of stiff, but then after you use it a lot, you'll feel how good this is. Like all the adjustments are just crazy good. For example, look at all the knobs on the side right here. You know what I'm saying? Like you roll this to push the seat forward. Roll that to push the seat back. All these, it's just so much more adjustable, you know what I mean? Easy to adjust, gas sprout, all of that. And then like the most comfortable armrest I've ever seen in a chair. Angle it anyway, it doesn't squeak. The headrest too, very unique headrest, the way how you use it. Flexible in all angles. This chair is amazing. But my favorite upgrade so far definitely have to be the the stack monitors now as you guys can see i have a lot of space for my camera to get it down to eye level whenever i'm streaming oh, oh yes i told you guys the setup is 10 times better bro you can actually see my nano leaf lines intermission yes this is the angle i wanted bro so much better so you guys can actually see me kind of could see the pc i could turn it over some more to get the pc in it you know what i'm saying I love this setup. And I have just so much more space now. Usually my mouse is always over here to this side. But now when I'm gaming, I have tons more room, tons more real estate. Now I think one thing I didn't really touch on that much was the mouse pad. And there's not really much you could talk about a mouse pad, you know what I mean? Um, this is from, as I said before, Novel Keys. Shout out to Novel Keys. They have like some of the best like products when it comes on to desk peripherals. And yeah, like I ordered this about five, six months ago. I forgot that I even ordered it in. So I'm glad that it's here. So if you currently own the normal Q1, Kcron Q1 keyboard, and you're like wondering what's the major difference? Is it just the knob? Well, not actually. Keychron did a few incremental upgrades, like small upgrades to the keyboard to just give a better performance and overall experience while typing. Yes, they added the knob. Secondly, the knob version uses the Gatoron G Pro switches instead of Phantom switches, which gives off a better typing experience and sound. This time around, it's a steel plate instead of an aluminum plate, making the board heavier and sturdier. If I hit this thing, you could hear how sturdy that is. And whenever you're typing, there's no real flex this time. And that's because of the double gasket system they used on the top and the bottom of the boards, which removes ping and all that good stuff. I think I spoke enough about the keyboard <laughs> because yeah, this was like the biggest upgrade personally. Aside from the chair, the chair is solid. I love the chair, steel case, gesture. The best chair on the market right now that I've tested that has reached my yard that has been inside of this room. Obviously, I love the stock monitor layout. I'm gonna stick with that from now on. Love the new orientation of the camera on streams. It's gonna look amazing. Of course, the desk mat is present and we just did small upgrades to, to just improve my workflow whenever I'm at the desk. I thought having stack monitors would like put a strain on my neck, but I could see myself getting used to it. And yeah. That's basically my setup. Let me know what you guys think down below.